So through here? Yes. Are you ready? Yeah, I think I'm ready. All righty. There's some deer fur that you're setting in right there. No, she's checking you out. And she is, said, oh, there's something else there? fuzzy oh, she's got there. My considered the largest of the canids. Males can reach 150 pounds, and while they do grow larger than the females, a lady wolf only weighs in at around 90 pounds. My first encounter will be with a wolf known as Orenda. Like all wolves, Orenda is always on high alert, with her senses firing on all cylinders. Front-facing eyes provide an incredible field of vision with highly tuned depth perception. Ears perked, this wolf can hear sound frequencies from many miles away and can detect a multitude of sounds human ears cannot. But Arunda's most powerful tool is her nose, which contains roughly 300 million olfactory receptors, making her sense of smell 40 times greater than that of a human. I mention these senses because they immediately allow Arunda to tune in with foreign objects, like cameras and bearded strangers, that are about to enter her home. Now, Darlene said I need to take off the majority of my outer clothing. That's so that the wolves don't uh, grab onto my hood. As you can see, this jacket has some fur on it, which looks like a great thing for a wolf to grab onto and play with. And they're extremely powerful. The last thing I want to happen is for a wolf to grab me and start dragging me somewhere. So I'm gonna also take off this vest and then I'm gonna put on my wolf warrior in training vest. Now, Darlene did also say to take off my hat because the wolves may take it, but it's keeping my head warm right now, so I think we'll just see what happens. And I think at this point, I'm ready to enter into the enclosure and become one of the wolf pack. Here we go, a coyote meeting wolves. All right, Darlene. I'm geared up. I kept the hat on. If they take the hat, I feel like I'll be okay with it. <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right, so through here? Yes, are you ready? Yeah, I think I'm ready. All righty. I'm excited. Okay, so I'm gonna let you in first, then I'm gonna shut the door after you. Okay. It's a double gate system. Okay. Secure. All right, so this is our second gate here. It's a big step down, so be real careful. It's icy out here in January. Okay, so the white one up there, our little Arctic wolf, his name, um, he's a male, is Aisha. Hi, Aisha. And then we have Orinda, and that's okay. over here. All right. And that's the female. There she is. So she Hi. probably likes you to get down on her level there. Okay. As you can see, there's some deer fur that you're sitting in right there. And uh, palm up with her. Oh, she's giving you some kisses. All right. Hi, how are you? How are you? This is amazing. My first face-to-face -face encounter with the wolf. I see your paw, it's so big. Wow, it's amazing being right next to a wolf like this. They're a lot bigger than you would think, especially those paws. I'm just letting her check me out right now. Yeah, I see. Is it okay for me to be in here? Now, what's the best way for me to seem submissive to this wolf, darling? Always be down on her level. Okay. And when you go to pet them, you want under the chin instead of on top of the head. Okay. Because she can see your hand that way. Okay. Because it can make them nervous if you're going over the top of the head. Good so how, how old is she? Uh, she is two years of age. Okay. So Hi, she's sweetie. pretty much still a pup. Who are you? Look at those beautiful yellow eyes that she has. But she's pretty much full size right now, correct? Yeah, she is. She has her full winter coat on. Uh, weight on her would probably be around 80 pounds. Okay. 70, 78, 80 pounds. And she is a gray wolf, or also known as timber wolf. Yep. Um, gray wolf and timber wolf, same thing. Just depends on where you live and what you call them. I would say she's the most quintessential look. When you think wolf, yes. she is sort of that perfect color design. And they come in multiple different color phases. There's like this gray mixture, black, white. Is there any other that mix in there as well? Uh, you know, your typical is gonna be what we call a silver gray, mm -hmm. like what you see there. They can be in shades of black, black and sort of a cream. They can have some reddish tones in there, but that is your most typical. When you think of a, a gray wolf or a timber wolf, that's sort of what you think of. Mm -hmm. Orenda! Orenda! So is there a key word or phrase that you use to bring her in closer to you ever? Uh, she likes high-pitched voices. 
And if you say treats really high, she definitely is treat motivated. Okay. So she likes that as well. And she knows I have a couple in my pocket. I see. And uh, so she's checking you out. And she what said, is, oh, there's something else on? fuzzy there. Oh, she's got there. my hood. No. She's got my hood. <laughs> she, she wants something fuzzy. <laughs> so I'm going to try to. Yep. That's so what you want to do is <laughs> make sure that she's not getting behind your neck there because yep. she'll want to steal them. Yep. Oh, she said, I'll give you a kiss. So, now, I did grow out this beard just for you guys. No, none of that. What is what is she saying with that little growl there? <laughs> she, she's saying that um, she wants doesn't want you to lay down. She wants you to sit up like I that. I see. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she's probably like wanting this. your jacket, and so she's saying, "I I want that jacket." So. She could be a little bit nervous because there's a lot of people in here who don't know what's going on, <laughs> and I have meat treats, and she's wanting that and not wanting you to take it away from right. her. And, uh, and that, that could is, be... That is the full, full wolf kiss <laughs> yes, right it is. there. Yes, it is. And I'm glad that she has good breath and she hasn't ate a roadkill deer. Yes. So I'll bring her over here, see how fast she oh, is. Yeah. Here you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It makes you nervous to, to feed a wolf That's, pieces of meat. You don't want your finger to end up in there. So as soon as she goes for it, I try to keep my That's hand. That's calling eat like a wolf. Yeah, yeah, eating like a wolf. It's amazing how fast she's. Very fast, and you've got to be very careful with your fingers. Yep. So very fast. There we yeah, go. There we go. That's we go. gone that quick. Yeah, I, like, I, 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 I see what you're doing. We're letting her kind of like dig in like that mm -hmm. a little bit. I'm a little nervous that she'll like grab onto yeah, my thumb. The way she is though. right now, I would probably just do a flat yeah. hand there. And um, I'm, what I'm trying to do is get her away so you can sort right. of just see how Ooh, quick she is. And if it falls on the ground, yep. let her let her go. Let her it. pick it up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that definitely gets your heart racing a little bit. As soon as she lunges like that, and you can just see, I mean, the power and the strength and the speed is, it's just incredible. It is. Isn't I can it? imagine what it would be like to see wolves in the wild, a pack of them taking down something like a moose. You think about how big an ungulate like that is mm -hmm. and how they work together as a team to right. bring something down. Just being this close, seeing that power within this proximity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can understand how they're able to move so quickly to throw that animal off right. balance, be able to work together as a team to then take down larger right. prey. Right, absolutely. Good girl. Now, when it comes to the pack structure here within the individual enclosures, I noticed that there's two wolves per enclosure. Mm -hmm. Now, are they both considered alphas within their own little domain? What happens is we try to pair them up, uh, usually in a male-female combination there. I have had up to a six-pack together, but because you've changed all the dynamics in a captive situation, that does change. Whereas out in the wild, they can disperse from a pack. In captivity, that doesn't happen. And so eventually, it keeps dwindling down to where you have two compatible pair. Well, I think we've had the great chance to be up close and personal with a wolf. And now, as I understand it, you guys actually have a roadkill deer <laughs> that we'll be able to bring into one of the enclosures and actually see how wolves eat. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I'm ready. If you're ready, yes. let's feed some wolves. Let's do that. Stay tuned, Coyote Pack. Our epic encounter with wolves continues this weekend. Dinner is served, boys and girls. Make sure to subscribe and ring the dinner bell so you can help us feed the pack. <laughs>